Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a factorial equation. Factorial equations are fun and we've done uh, two videos before. I'll also share the links down below. And let's take a look at this equation. Now, n squared plus 19n minus n factorial is equal to zero. And we're going to be solving for n. n is a non-negative integer. In other words, it's either positive or zero. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I would like to isolate the factorial. So let's go ahead and write it this way. n squared plus 19n equals n factorial. The left-hand side is factorable, so let's go ahead and take out n here. So this becomes n times n plus 19, and then equals n factorial. Now, notice that n factorial is divisible by n, and the left-hand side is also divisible by n. So that means we can divide both sides by n. But one thing to notice that n cannot equal 0. Because if you substitute 0 here in the original problem, because 0 factorial is equal to 1, 0 is not going to be a solution to this equation. Great. So having said that, we can divide both sides. But let's go ahead and write the right-hand side uh, so that it contains n. I can write n factorial as n times n minus 1 factorial. And here now I can divide both sides by n, knowing that n does not equal 0. So we got a simpler equation, and let's rewrite it. We got n plus 19 equals n minus 1 factorial. I don't like the fact that our factorial contains n minus 1. I want to make it like n or k or whatever. So let's go ahead and make this quick substitution. Let's replace n minus 1 with k, which means n is equal to k plus 1. Okay. If you do that on both sides, we get the following, which is an equivalent equation, by the way. It doesn't matter. Solving for k is going to give you the value of n because they're connected. So we're going to get, uh, if you replace n with k plus 1 here, we get k plus 20 equals k factorial. Great. It's nice to be able to get something as simple as k factorial on the right-hand side. So how do we deal with these kinds of equations? This is, first of all, a non-standard equation. Why? Because we have a factorial on the right-hand side, and we have a linear function on the left-hand side. Can you graph factorials? Yes, but they're just going to be dots, right? They're not connected because it's only, the, well, you can define it for real numbers, for negatives or whatever, so on and so forth. But here we're looking for a non-negative integer, all right? So we have to make sure that it is an integer. And the only solution, if k is an integer, is k equals 4. Well, in other words, k equals 4 satisfies the equation. How do I know that? If you replace k with 4, you get 24 equals 4 factorial, which is true. Yay, we got a solution. Great. Can we find other solutions? And the answer is coming up in a little bit. Now, we, we got one solution, which is nice, because sometimes you can't get all the solutions, or maybe you can prove that there are no other solutions. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the right-hand side, k factorial, and left-hand side is k plus 20. As k increases, if k is greater than 4, obviously like k equals 5, 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, and 7, um, you know, 7 factorial is 5040, so on and so forth. So they get larger faster. K factorial obviously grows much faster than a linear function. This means that they're only going to intersect at one point, and that happens to be at k equals 4. But we're not looking for the k value, we're looking for the n value. But n is equal to k plus 1, so let's rewrite our equation one more time. We have n squared plus 19n minus n factorial equals 0, and since n is equal to k plus 1, and we know that k is equal to 4, from here we're going to be getting n equals 5. And you can easily check that. If you replace n with 5, you're going to be getting 5 squared plus 19 times 5 minus 5 factorial. Let's see what that becomes. 25, 19 times 5 is equal to 95. 5 factorial is 120. 25 plus 95 is 120. Minus 120 is equal to 0. So our solution actually checks, and that happens to be the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care.
and bye bye